Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to make this baby blanket. We are going to use this cluster V crochet stitch. It's very easy to make, ideal for beginner and is reversible. I will leave you all the measurement and the materials I use in the description box below. So let's get started. In this occasion, I'm going to make a sample for the blanket. I'm going to use a solid color so you can see better the definition of the stitch. The V cluster stitch required a multiple of three. So you're going to chain three plus three plus three until you reach the size that you need. And then at the end, you will add two more chains just for the first time. So we're going to make a slip knot and for my sample I'm going to chain 26. I'm going to finish my 26 chains and I'll be back with you. I have my 26 chains now we are going to turn our chain and we are going to work in the back in this little bars that you see here so we start from the fourth one so one two three into the fourth yarn over and we are going to start a double crochet like normally we do yarn over and close two. We're not going to finish our double crochet, yarn over again into the same chain, we pick up a loop, we close only two, now we have three loops on our hook, yarn over and close all. Now we chain one, yarn over again into the same chain we are going to do the same we close two yarn over pick up a loop yarn over again close two we have a three loops yarn over and close all together and we have our first cluster B stitch now we skip two chains, one, two, into the third. We are going to repeat the same. We start our double, but we do not finish it. Again, yarn over into the same chain. We start another, three loops on a hook, yarn over, and we close all together chain one, yarn over again, we start our double, we close only two loops, yarn over again, same chain, we close two more, now we have three loops, yarn over and we close all three. Now we skip two chains and we start again our cluster. And that's all we need to do for this first row. I will continue this row and I will meet you before the end. I'm almost at the end that's how it looks like so no matter how many chains you have you should have left one more chain so we are going to finish our work as we started so into the last chain we are going to make a double crochet in this way now we can chain three, we turn our work and now we start 
with the pattern that we are going to follow from now on. So into the chain space between the V cluster stitch, we are going to make another V cluster stitch. So we are going to start our double crochet. We close two, but we do not finish. We make another, we close two, three loops, turn over, close all. Chain one, again, we are going to make two more. In this way. Into the next chain space, we are going to make another V cluster stitch. Chain one, another cluster, and that's all we need to do until the end. I'm almost at the end. I made my last cluster V stitch and now we have those two chains that we, wor we worked when we started. So now here into the second chain I'm going to make a double crochet. We always finish our rows with a double crochet and we start with the chain 3. So I'm going to chain 3, I turn my work and we start like we did before in the middle where we have the chain 1 space between the V stitch we're going to make our cluster and that's the pattern that you're going to follow until you reach the length that you desire. this way. I made a few more rounds, that's how it looks like. I need just one more stitch into the third chain, the one that we make when we turn. I'm going to make my last double crochet in this way. That's how it looks like. Now let's say that I have the size that I needed. I'm going to pull up a loop, cut the yarn, and now we can make the border. For the border it's very simple, like this one, it's just a single crochet. I'll show you how to make it. I'm going to change color. You can use the same color if you like. And I'm going to start in this corner here. I'm going to pick up a loop. And make a chain. This it doesn't count as a stitch. I'm going to make in the corner two single crochet. We need three, but the third one we are going to add when we finish the round. So in this side where you have your double crochet and your chain three, we are going to make two single crochet in each if you can go through the chain or you can go under, it will work as well. And this way to the next two single crochet. into the next 
to single crochet like so and I will finish this uh, row and I will meet you at the corner I'm almost at the end I finish here my last uh, two single crochet into the double crochet now we're going to, in, to make the corner so I'm going here I'm going to make three single crochet into the same space in this way now this is this the part where you started so your work it will be like this this is where we start is a little bit different from the top there's not really very clear definition of the stitches so here you will find that you have a little hole so in that little hole here you're going to put a single crochet then you have the two chains in this two chains you're going to make two single crochet Here we have our other little hole. In that hole, we are going to make a single crochet. Again, two chains, so we make two single crochet. In this way. And that's all you need to do for this side, and I will meet you in the next corner. I'm almost at the end that's how it looks like now here I am at the point where we have the two chains that we made when we started so into the first chain I'm going to make a single crochet into the second I'm going to make three single crochet together in the same space in this way now we can continue like we did before for each of these chain three or double crochet you put the two single crochet I'm gonna finish this side and I will meet you there I'm almost at the end now we make our next corner so in this chain we're going to make our three single crochet in this way and then here is is very clear where you're going to put your single crochet one in each stitch is very easy this is the top of our work so you can see very clearly the stitches and we're gonna do single crochet I will finish this around and I will meet you here in the next corner I'm almost at the end I just need to finish our corner we have only two so we need one more single crochet to complete the corner so I'm going to make a single crochet into the next stitch I'm going to slip stitch and we finish our corner now we always start with the two when we start and the third one the third single crochet we're going to add when we finish in this way so from here I'm going to chain one and into the same stitch I'm going to make two single crochet the third one I'm going to make it when we finish the round now we are going to continue single crochet and I will meet you one more time to show you how to work the next corner I reached the corner so here we have our three single crochet one two and three so we're going to work into the first one a single crochet into the second one we're going to make our three single crochet 
when you reach your corners always into the second one you're going to make your increase three single crochet into the same stitch and then you continue like we did before single crochet around I'm almost at the end I just did one more around I just need my last single crochet in the corner here in this way now let's say that I'm okay with the size of my border so I'm going to cut the yarn and I'm going to finish my blanket with a yarn needle if you want you can slip stitch I like this better this way and then we will in the end go as much as you like you can make your border like I did for my blanket as big as you like I really hope that you like this video if it's so please give me a thumbs up Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!